I pay attention to people in front of me and behind me. You can learn something from anybody. If a homeless dude tell you don't do push-ups in traffic, you should probably listen. Not say, oh, he's homeless, so I'm not listening to that. What right. does he know? People have a tendency to only want to listen to people if they think they're successful. Mm. That's a mistake. Right. You can because, learn something from anyone. Yes, you can. You just got to know what to listen to. You just got to know what to listen to. You just got to know what to listen to. You just got to know what to listen to. family shalom 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 back at it again with another exhortation through the spirit and power of yahweh bashem yahweh shah wa kodash rakah giving all glory all honor and all praises unto the most high heavenly father for this very moment i want to say barakathon to all of those who are being diligent inside of this truth starting from the elders on down to the youth those who are doing the best that they can when it comes down to keeping their commandments of the Most High Heavenly Fathers, as well as carrying on the faith of the Hamashiach Yahushai, is the Malak, and as we always like to make it known, a hey, is all about the King. Dun. So to get right into this family, you know, um, to bring forth another exhortation amongst the Akim and the Agwafi, I mean, to the brothers and for the sisters, those who are um, having an ear to hear and an eye to see where the spirit is trying to lead you at in this very day with your confidence in the Lord, man. With your confidence in Yahweh Shimei Awashah. With your confidence in the Heavenly Father through His Word. Living Word. You see? The one and true only Word. And those who are a part of the body of the first fruit to understand those aspects you know and, and what has been uh described but for the most part it all lines up to what we know that is connected to the fruits of the spirit so within that being said the level of confidence even when it feels like something is not going in a way that you were expected to be right a lot of times Yahabashimiyawasha will allow certain situations to go in a certain angle that kind of like in a way will make you to uh, think otherwise or whatever else, just so he he can instill in the depths of your soul to prove to you, you know, that he got this one. You know, when things seem like it's out of your hands, he allows them to be in that way. To prove to you that he got you. Right? Not only you growing in a better relationship with him, but why is important to not walk after the flesh? I'm gonna say that one more time, but basically break it down. He wants to motivate us as souls on what it means to walk after the spirit, to reflect or be a representation of that first fruit when it comes down to kingdom. What kingdom? His kingdom that is embedded within us. You see? But the overall point is to give us a glimpse and why the earthen vessel, the flesh, is not to be ruling over us, but us ruling over it. You see? To master the flesh is to conquer over the flesh. And to conquer over it is through the Father's word. And you applying it in your life to see where it fits at. Sometimes it may take a little longer, but for the most part, as long as you are being diligent, the Lord will bless you with that recompense. You see, anybody that's, you know, uh, been growing in his truth, they, they, they have gathered as time goes on, how when the Lord blesses you with understanding, right? That is of a, uh, a recompense. That is of a reward because you seek it out. You see what I'm saying? Same thing when it comes down to your level of keeping your hands clean. You see what I'm saying? But let's go further into this because everything is going to tie in. All right. I want to go, as y'all see the scripture that's on the side of the screen, right, which has been there. And, I, and I've been speaking not only just to help your ears to be attentive, you know, to what the spirit has been supping with me with. You know what I'm saying? And I'm only giving you 
what I could give to you at the very moment. You see what I'm saying? Everything else you have to search out as you begin to seek. You see what I'm saying? So it's enough to give you a, a, a push. So when you get into the word and you begin to meditate on it, it'll take you into some, uh, some deeper things, right? So <clears throat> this is where I'm standing at with everything. You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh. We're going to go into the book of Deuteronomy chapter 23 and verse 5. And my reasons are speaking on this because it actually connects with what is written in the book of Numbers, um, chapter 22 and also uh, chapter 23. And anybody who is not aware of the story of Balaam and Balak and um, where Balaam stood at, right, in his approach, you know what I'm saying, in the matters of, uh, 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 of doing an evil deed towards Israel, right, I want you to see what uh on, on i want when you have a timing to read it and i want you to see by reflecting inwardly in those uh scenarios where it, it it helps to elevate your level of confidence in the lord and i guarantee you it will give you a boost in it and it'll also give you an eye opener on what it means uh to keep your hands clean and not only just that the benefits of keeping your hands clean you see, when it comes down to the glory of Yahweh Shem Yahweh in spite of difficulties or whatever that may come across to you, you are in a state of obedience when it comes down to the will of the Lord. So in this passage right here, right, in um, Deuteronomy chapter 23 and verse 5, it says, nevertheless, you see, and, I, and I'm stating these things because if you think about it, when every time you're waking up in the morning time, you know what I'm saying? That that's an opportunity to exalt the name of the Lord, and, and, and you exalting it not by the next man's uh, criteria, motives, or any anything else that would be matching up to the next person. No, you do what the Lord has built within you and what to do. You can't live after the next man. You can only live after the Lord's uh, uh, way of dealing with things. All right, being more of who He has created you to be in these times. To further what will be of kingdom By being light amongst those Who are connected to you You see So it's a level of gratitude Gratitude is the attitude So going back into it Deuteronomy 23 and 5 Salakia, Which means he, uh, in Hebrew forgive me Nevertheless the Lord thy God Would not hearken unto Balaam Seeing the Lord wasn't going to hear Balaam right Because Balaam he had a tongue That basically was in a place of him being able to uh he can bless somebody or either he can uh curse somebody and it will happen but in this case because of who you are just to give you a reminder to reflect who you are when it comes down to kingdom what kingdom the kingdom of god you see know that there is a force a heavenly divine force that is protecting you beyond your own comprehension level. All right? Going further. But the Lord thy God turned the curse into a blessing unto thee because the Lord thy God loved thee. Let me read that one more time. Nevertheless, the Lord thy God would not hearken unto Balaam, but the Lord thy God turned the curse into a blessing unto thee. Because the Lord thy God loved thee. So this is evident in where the Lord stands at when it comes down to who he is in your life and the level of value and where you stand at when it comes down to what he is establishing through you. Meaning you are valuable in his eyes. And the more you acknowledge that value, the more you grow in, 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 in what is of the fear of the Lord, like what is written in Isaiah chapter 33 and verse six, as you can see on the side of the screen, it states wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. A treasure is something that you value, which we gonna get into that Lord's willing, maybe the next message, but Lord's willing. Right, And that treasure That is a part Of wisdom 
and you as a soul are standing in a unison with it is what got you in a, 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 a level of understandings or shall I say understandings that others and maybe at times within yourself but you're growing into it are not able to comprehend to meaning the very things that may be foolish to man's eyes maybe even your own at times but if you could just hold on and trust in the Lord and do good you will see how he will confound that earthen vessel's nature to give you a boost and you will see how he will confound those who try to influence you to lean to your own understandings you see what I'm saying the very thing that is meant to be as a curse in your life the Lord is making it known unto you in this very moment that it's all working out for your good and we know that because as you can see Romans chapter 8 and verse 28 is working out for your good meaning darkness may be in opposition towards you which is not saying that oh you gotta you gotta fight or this and that and the third no it's just it's just giving you a reminder that you still have that light sometimes we can lose track of the light which is only darkness trying to influence you to not have your confidence in the Lord when your level of confidence begin to fade off come on fam think about it you invite what is of darkness in but because the Lord already knew you before you even was formed in your mother's womb that light that he has instilled within you which is of his spirit you think that darkness is going to consume that because what's his always his meaning you belong to him yeah I'm speaking to you you belong to him so I want you to meditate in Deuteronomy chapter 23 and verse 5 today when you have a spare time and let Yahabashim Yahushah be your motivation in this very day in this very day it's really supposed to be every day but overall I love y'all y'all stay up and stay blessed Shalom